Good day. We've got CEO Kip Underwood of Burkon Nutriscience joining us. Burkon develops plant-based edible proteins from pea, canola, soy, hemp, sunflower seed, and more, and has over 290 global patents. Burkon just announced a partnership with HPS to launch the world's first high-purity soluble hemp seed protein isolate at the upcoming IFT Food Exposition in Chicago. Today is Thursday, July the 13th, and I'm Martin Gagel with Market Radius Research. Please remember this is neither a recommendation or investment advice. We're here to learn about the company. Kip, thank you very much for joining us. And please give us an overview on the recent hemp protein news and why it's significant to Burkhan. Hey, thanks, Martin. Really appreciate it. And we're really excited about our partnership with HPS Food Ingredients, and we're excited for uh, several reasons. First is they're a fantastic partner, a uh, pioneer in the hemp industry, and really stage with us to, uh, to launch this product successfully. Second reason we're excited is we go back to our Burkhan 2.0 strategy, which we laid out, where the, the strategic imperatives were alternative revenue streams closer to customers' markets, and more influencer control over the manufacture of our ingredients. And bringing hemp uh, seed protein to market with HPS lines up and addresses all of those strategic factors. And we're very excited about that. And lastly, maybe more importantly, we're excited to bring um, our technology to market so that food companies can take advantage of it and deliver uh, better and new products to end consumers. All right. So uh, could you describe your partnership with uh, HPS and uh, how you're bringing a uh, hemp protein isolate to market? Sure. Thanks, Martin. Us and HPS, I think it really is a combination of strength. So as I mentioned, HPS is a pioneer over two decades in the hemp industry. They specialize in breeding, planning, contract farming, securing high quality uh, raw material moving forward to, to processing and they already have established global markets for hemp products. What they don't have in their portfolio is a high purity, high value hemp seed isolate, protein isolate. That's where Burkhan plugs in with our technology, our ability to bring go to market with a capital light contract manufacturing supply chain. We put those two together. We have a high quality, reliable, high quality uh, raw material. We have the ability to turn that into a high value ingredient. And then with HBS, we have in instant access to global markets, to end customers who are currently looking to um, looking for a product like this. So HPS will be providing Burkhan the hemp seed meal that would then get transformed into a protein isolate, not by Burkhan per se, but using Burkhan's technology with a third, a third party contract um, manufacturer food processor. And Correct. then once you have that, you leverage HPS's global distribution to get it into uh, your customers' recipes. Correct, exactly. And then the other thing we're excited about our partnership, we're aligned in principle that this is a 50-50 venture, right? So we will uh, share in the risk and the rewards uh, equally. And we think that's really critical to this being an ongoing success. Gotcha. And with uh, hemp protein isolate, is this going to be something that I go to my local grocery store and buy a bag of it and I don't know, make cookies out of it? Or is that something they're going to make other, it's an ingredient for uh, commercial food products at bakeries or in package, consumer packaged goods? So what we will have is an ingredient for food companies or companies or supplement companies to then go create the foods that you or I would go buy at a grocery store or a health food store or online. And, and I think that's really exciting, again, to bring that hemp protein, hemp seed protein isolate to market and get this in the hands of people who can create those end foods that we would all go buy and enjoy. All right. And, and what's the timeline? You're launching, um, you're launching it at the uh, big food show next week. Maybe, I don't know, maybe give uh, the audience uh, what is this food show and how uh, important is it? And then what's the, you're launching it. What does that mean? And what are the next steps to actually bringing it to market and generating revenues? Sure. So where we are right now in the next, in the next um, say 10 to 12 weeks, we're really focused on two things refining the detailed end customer needs, the exact features and, and pieces of the puzzle that they want and need, and then going through commercial scale uh, production validation. We'll have that completed by late summer, early fall. 
at that point in time will be in full scale commercial launch um, with an eye towards uh, really potential sales sometime inside of 2024. Gotcha. So with over the next few weeks and launching it, you can, I guess, tweak your manufacturing process to sort of enhance certain characteristics and, and say, okay, what exactly does the, the client want? They want it maybe a little more soluble or a little less whatever. Right. And, and, and so you've got the concept, but it's still tweakable uh, to really tune it for what your clients are mostly looking for. Right. And in particular, the early adopters. Right. So what we want to do is the last piece of your development and your validation work to be in concert with your early adopter customers. Right. That it gives them exactly what they need. It shrinks your time to market and really allows for rapid adoption in the marketplace. And we're in that phase where we want to work collaboratively with those early adopters to ensure, again, that both we and them are successful and we're successful as quickly as possible. Gotcha. So is is Burkon now like a hemp protein company or are you uh, like a general protein? Because you've got, like I said earlier, you've got over 290 patents and dealing with all sorts of different uh, seeds uh, and meal uh, that you extract the protein out of. How does this fit into the whole strategy? Well, I think we go back to at our, at our core, we're a plant protein innovation company. And part of our strategy is how do we bring these to market, right? So I go back to our Burkon 2.0 strategy. Again, more revenue, closer to customers, higher influence over the production. We have hemp seed in our, in our hemp protein in our portfolio. We have the right partners. This is really the first of many moves uh, for Burkon, moving from a technology company to, in the end, getting making sure that those that technology gets to gets to the market and gets in the hands of companies we can put it in the hands of consumers. So you're really focused. You've done literally decades of R&D here. It's really commercialization phase. You got all this IP, let's bring it to market. You do hemp with uh, HPS, yes. sunflower with someone else in a different strategy and, and just have lots of different sort of irons in the fire. Exactly, and, and this is really the first, right? Okay. It's the first, the proof point that how we're going to be going to market, that we can go to market and that we are focused on bringing our technology to market so that customers can take advantage of, advantage of it and end consumers can enjoy the products. All right, that's great. Any last words here, Kip, before we uh, wrap things up? I just that we're, we're tremendously excited about where we are as a company. We're excited to get that first proof point out against our Burkon 2.0 strategy and really excited to work with a fantastic partner like HPS Food Ingredients. Excellent. All right. Thank Kip. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Martin.